Hey friends, welcome back. It's me, Jessica, also known as Mrs. Jezzy, and thank you so, so much for clicking on today's video. Today, the girls and I and Jacob have a 4th of July decorate with me, and we are so glad that you are here with us today. If you are interested in seeing how the kids and I decorate the kitchen for the 4th of July, please stay tuned, and we hope that you really enjoy. Right now, we're just going over the things that we have for 4th of July. Um, we are going to be here for 4th of July. We will be leaving on vacation um, about three days after. So since we were not going to be here the whole month of July, we decided that we would go ahead and decorate now so we can enjoy all the patriotic decor in the house for at least a month before we leave. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, loves, we're going to start off over here on the left side of the kitchen. The girls are going to be decorating the floating shelves. Um, they were really excited for this video. As you can see, they had already started to put the star on the wall. Um, and it was also because they were trying to figure out how they were going to get it to stay. Um, for some reason, with this backsplash, I cannot find things to keep little... Um, pictures or you know any kind of decor on the wall i like to use the command strips and like i've said before they work great on drywall but for some reason they do not work too good on the um backsplash that i've here that i have here in the kitchen the tile but the girls made it work and we really love the way that it came out So a lot of the decor that we are using is either from Dollar Tree, Target Dollar Spot, and we did get three things from Michael's and only because it was 50% off. Other than that, I probably would have just stuck with Target Dollar Spot and um, Dollar Tree. But yeah, everything that we used, I don't think anything was over, we'll say $6.00. Everything that we used was uh, fairly cheap. And then, of course, adding in greenery and stuff from the Dollar Tree that I had from Spring.
I am keeping the decor pretty simple over here in the coffee area. I'm only making a few changes and that's going to be getting rid of the um, K cup drawer that I had under the coffee machine. And then I brought back in the mug rack that I had for my Valentine's Day decor. I don't have any 4th of July coffee mugs, but I do have a coffee mug that Jacob made me in pre-K and it's the cutest little thing and it's perfect for summer. It's a cactus plant and I decided to go ahead and display that cup on the coffee mug and then everything else that I have on my Hobby Lobby shelf or items that I already had and then I just added the k-cups into the drawers right there on the shelf Natalie will be decorating the racks that we have over here by the breakfast table. Um, we're keeping it simple over here as well. Uh, some of the things we already had there, we're just going to leave it as is. I did forget to mention that I did purchase some hand towels and they were from Marshalls and I believe they were $5.99 each. They were a pack of two and I just spread them throughout the kitchen.
I decided to go ahead and bring out my tear tray only because I had a lot of fruit that I wanted to go ahead and store here. I really didn't have any room anywhere else to put it. I had some of the fruit in this little basket here, but it just wasn't enough. And I thought I can just fill up the bottom two trays with fruit and then put just a small decor piece that has to do with 4th of July on the top. And then it would just go with everything else in the kitchen. Now this is what the girls were most excited about here in the video. They wanted to decorate cupcakes for you all. They had already baked the cupcakes and had them cooling while we were decorating everything else. But now they are going to get into the fun part, which is decorating. And then Jacob will pop in here and there. And I really hope that you all enjoy watching them decorate these cupcakes for you because they were super excited doing it for you.
So this is the final product of the kids' cupcakes. They came out so cute. I think they did an awesome job, and I really hope that you think so as well. So one of the last things that we needed to do to complete our 4th of July decor is to put some fresh flowers. Of course, you know I never post a video when it has to do with decorating the house, especially the kitchen, without adding some fresh flowers. It's something that I really, really love to have in my kitchen. I love them in the summertime too when we have all the bright and beautiful colors. But yes, we love fresh flowers here. And um, Natalie will be cutting the stems off of them while Elena will start to put the flowers in and I really love that the way that the girls did the flower arrangement I think they did such a great job it brings me so much joy to re-watch this video as I edit it and just seeing how my girls are turning into me and they really love to decorate um, for the holidays and decorate just home decor in general and it makes me so happy that they're following in my footsteps because I really love to see them decorate especially when they put their own little twist on things it's just the cutest thing ever Okay, loves, we are reaching the end of the video. I did not want to talk too much when we're doing the final walkthrough of the way that the kitchen came out, only because the song that I'm going to play, I just want you to listen to the song and see what the final product looks like. You know, just feel the 4th of July spirit. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. We really, really appreciate y'all. The girls and I are so very thankful for each and every single one of you. To my oldies but goodies, guys, I will never, ever fail to say this. And I know I mention it all the time. Thank you so much for all your support. Your support will never, ever go unnoticed. We appreciate every single time you click on a video for every single second that you stay to watch. It is so helpful to my channel when you watch my videos all the way through, when you like, when you comment. It just means so much when you do it all. The girls are noticing that... They are loving to decorate and help out with uh, home decor and holiday decor. And it just makes my heart so happy that they are following in mama's footsteps. It's like the best thing to all of our new subscribers. Welcome. We are so thankful to have you here. Thank you for joining our YouTube family. We hope that you enjoyed today's content and all the future content to come. And to all the ones who watch and have yet to subscribe, I always tell you guys thank you too. If you don't subscribe, of course, I'm not mad about it, but I would love for you to be here. I would love for you to join my family because every subscription, every like, every comment, every share, it helps my channel so, so much. But I still appreciate you for coming to watch. I appreciate you taking the five minutes, the 10 minutes or watching the video all the way through. I appreciate it all. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great weekend. Happy Friday. And we will definitely see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.